Welcome to Sketchy. We take all the super complex stuff you need to learn and turn them into memorable visual stories packed full of everything you need to know on test day. Click the link in the corner or description to try for free for seven days. Now let's get to it. We're starting the gram-positive rod chapter with the Bacillus genus, which includes Bacillus anthracis and Bacillus cereus. We decided to make the scene for the bacilli about a group of Vikings and a Viking king. We named the Viking king King Anthra, and he'll be carrying a mighty axe. So the title is King Anthra's Axe for Anthrax. So now let's get to this epic backdrop. All right, so we'll start off drawing the Viking. And we'll give him a little sword. Okay, now I'll give him some hands. Okay, and a little Viking boat in the back. Now he's going to be fighting this dude. Um, oh no. Ah, you cut my arm off. Ugh, blood everywhere. Uh, we, we decided to switch things up a little bit. Uh, we're going to be doing the illustrations in-house. In fact, I'm, I'm going to be the illustrator from now on. Uh, don't worry. Uh, you can expect the same level of quality. My, my parents love my work. <laughs> Just kidding. Here's a real backdrop. Let's start talking about our main characters, the Vikings. So the Vikings have just conquered this new land, and they're standing in part of their path of destruction, a ring of fire from a recently sacked and raised village. The dead, black, charred center of the circle with surrounding red-hot flames nicely illustrates a black eschar, or a black necrotic cutaneous lesion with a surrounding erythematous ring. We hope that if you're shown a picture of an eschar, you immediately associate it with this ring of fire. The next thing you need to know about Bacillus anthracis is that they're often described as looking like large gram-positive rods and chains. This is a good ID feature to keep in your back pocket. It's unusual to see rods and chains, so if you're thinking Bacillus as soon as you hear it described, you'll definitely have an advantage on test day. To reinforce this, we're going to draw Viking ships in the background, and they'll be lined up, and they'll have large rod-like sails also lined up as if they're bacilli in a chain. Now let's focus on the Vikings again. You'll notice that they have armor on, and in the past, like for Strep Pneumo, if something has armor on, it means it's encapsulated. So Bacillus is also encapsulated, however their capsules are somewhat unique. I know it may seem like a burden to memorize these additional features, but really unique features are great for us because if we hear them, they act like buzzwords, and that really helps clue us into an answer. So the unique feature about the capsule is that it's made of protein. The other capsules we've talked about are made of polysaccharides. So to remember protein, we've made their armor leather. Leather is obviously a protein, so this should help you remember that. To go into even more detail, the capsule is made out of poly-D glutamate. If you remember poly-D, you should be able to pick it out in a question. So how do we illustrate poly-D? Originally, we were going to have our Vikings GTL along Jersey Shore, but in our beta test we found that any mention of Jersey Shore in our videos immediately made viewers stupider. So out of concern for your health, we've eliminated any and all Jersey Shore references. And we'll just represent poly Ds by drawing multiple buckles on the armor that are in the shape of Ds. So these multiple Ds are poly Ds. 